Yeah. <laughs> we need to work on that intro. Okay. All right. All right. Comedian, actor, prankster, and Bigfoot enthusiast Jeff Dye has accomplished much in his career. You may have seen him on The Masked Singer, Girl Code, or I Can See Your Voice, and he still finds time to tour the country. Yeah. And he's joining us this morning to tell us about his shows and projects. Hey, you know what? We are giver on day. <laughs> Look at this. Chicago. You want some bacon? This is from the previous yes, segment. Yes, I know, right. but I want to yeah. share. But you deserve it. Oh my it's God! Well, Look at I me. did see that he made this what like five hours ago. No, it's right. no there. good. No. Bacon Shared. lasts forever. It is good. Uh -huh. Right, right. Want to try a little nibble? Um, I'm good, but you, it's all you. We're having it. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you having it? I know. Something wrong with it? You know something wrong about with it? Get back here. Oh, 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 oh. This is good. Two, but it is good. It's got all the sugar on it, so it's like crack, right? One of, see, again, everybody keeps comparing this to crack. Mm -hmm. I don't think this would spiral me into homelessness and begging oh, people for... This is true. That is a bad don't analogy. Don't compare it to crack. <laughs> compare it to, like, something delicious. Okay, okay. Let's talk about why you're here. <laughs> yeah, no crack no, talk. No, Let's talk about this. She started this. at the crack talk, not me. The All crack right, girl ahead. talking about crack. That is so bad, isn't it? It doesn't even taste like bacon. Okay. No, it tastes like sugar. So your show... It's very good. Yeah. You're, you have a show last night. Yeah. Thank it, you for being in, here. In Rosemont. Right. And now okay. I'm going to the old town. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Show. I like Old Town. You like it there? I love it there. Yeah. 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 Well, one time I, I was sleeping, I heard Kings of Leon being played in on the streets of Old Town. The band was playing. Mm -hmm. I woke yeah. up. I was like, this is amazing. Okay. And then I walked out to just see Kings of Leon. It wasn't. It's was just a cover band. That's oh. all right, but still good, though, right? Right. Got you yeah, in yeah. the mood. Those are the best ones. They were playing with you. Got me up they out of bed. They were pranking you like you prank other people, <laughs> exactly. right? That's, That's not exactly. cool. I didn't like it. I don't, I don't like it when it's coming at me. Yeah. So what's this thing with Bigfoot? Tell me about that. I just like it a lot. It's well, a fun subject. I don't okay. know. Why? Why? What, what? I mean, it's just a... Well, I grew up in Seattle, so okay. big Bigfoot country, the Pacific Northwest. Oh. And then I also think it's just a fun thing to talk about. Okay. People think it's weird. Like, even you're asking, like, why? 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 I don't know, because it's cool. So do you buy memorabilia? Yeah, do you... people send me Bigfoot crap all the really? time. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, I like it was it. funny. Somebody said, well, why don't we have some video of Bigfoot? And they were like, if you can find video of Bigfoot, then we've got something bigger we're rich. here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You got a little nibble on you. <laughs> I know. Hey, you got a spot on you, too. Where? Right here. Oh my God. That's my microphone, Ding Dong. This is a segment. Off the rails. We're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, you're having fun, right? <laughs> yeah, I like you to come back. I'm going to stay the whole segment. Okay, there you go. We don't need yeah. Amy. So William Shatner, George yes. Foreman, you've you've worked with them all, right? Well, I traveled the world. I did two seasons on a show called Better Late Than Never, where we traveled to multiple countries. Me, Henry Winkler, William Shatner, Terry Bradshaw, and George Foreman. But with their age and COVID, the show's no more. Mm. How did you get a word in Edgewise? Hmm? How did you get a word in Edgewise with that group? It oh, is a lot. A and in. a lot of bathroom breaks with men, you know, <laughs> men that age got to pee all the time. <laughs> did you learn anything from them? Yeah, they're I mean, very wise men. That's another thing. Yeah. People just think they're some silly TV people, but it's like, no, they're mm. like, they're husbands and, and fathers and they've lived great lives personally also. So they're very, very Yeah, and they've managed to survive in show business all this that's time. Right. So I, I guess right, that's, a, that's yeah. something right there. They, they made it through the Me Too stuff, you know? <laughs> hey, that, means hey. that means they're good guys. <laughs> okay, that's right, so something to be said. They didn't do anything bad. So you have a lot of stories to tell. Tell us about how you played wiffle ball at Oh, Wrigley? that was here in Chicago, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell us uh, about so it. So Kerry Wood and his wife uh, have a foundation. And one of the one of the charities was uh, Woody's Wiffle for a Diffle, and it was like a thing at Wrigley Field where they played wiffle ball and they raised money for the schools and stuff. And I got to play in it. But the the problem is that they just made all the most famous people in the Home Run Derby, right? So they, 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 who was the most famous? So they got like Jenny McCarthy mm -hmm. and Matthew Perry and Bill Murray, very famous people. Yeah. But they they don't they're not good at wiffle ball. Of course so not. So Jenny McCarthy gets out. She you know she don't know what she's doing. <laughs> So they're like, this isn't good. We have eight celebrities and none of them hit a home run. And then they're like, that comedian's actually playing pretty good over there. Okay. Yeah. So they like brought me in as like the ringer and nice. I just, I did great. And you knocked it out nice. the park. Yeah. All right, well, and, there you go. And the fans were like, good. That's what a home run derby should have, some home runs. Yeah, See? exactly. So yeah. you know how to play your role. Exactly. Speaking of Jenny McCarthy, she's on that uh, show. Uh, Masked Singer. Yeah, yeah also. Yeah. And you yeah, were a guest. Yeah, she's great on yeah. it. Yeah. 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 How, is that how does that work? I mean, how does the show work? Yeah, I mean, I know right, how the show works. No, no, I know how the show works, but how <laughs> is it like behind the scenes? Don't you really know who is yeah. in that costume? So You've probably seen them behind the stage, right? No, no, right. no, you don't see them. They do. They go to great lengths to make sure that nobody's uh, viewed. In fact, so much so that when Terry Bradshaw was on the show in the costume, I wasn't allowed on the set oh, because wow. they were like afraid that if people saw me there, they'd go. 
We okay. saw Jeff around. Ah. So it's legit. She's probably with Terry, and mm -hmm. then they'd be better at guessing the thing. Okay, oh. and then if you could hear him talking, then you would automatically know right. who they it was. Right, they keep it all separate. So it's, oh. that's, that's keep a them show all. that's honest. That it is an honest show. honest show. We Although, like that. he won't like me saying this, but... Um, like, Ken Jong has no idea. He's, he's just be there to be funny and have a good time. Sure. He's doing his best at guessing. Shady McCarthy, you know, she don't know who these people are. She's just guessing or whatever. <laughs> Same with uh, Nicole Scherzinger. But Robin Thicke is... His dad was Alan Thicke, yeah. and Robin's been in the industry of music yep. and act forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I have been told from a little bird, a homeless man, <laughs> no, uh, that, that Robin Thicke knows... He can tell before they even like. Sometimes they'll just walk across the stage and, and be like, "I know that." Yeah, because yeah. like, he's just really good. Yeah. At he's worked at all. So yeah. he'll dumb he's down his guesses because yeah. he's he's too good at the game. Yeah. Right. Well, well he's like again, good. like you like you knocked that ball out of the out of the uh, the stadium for a wiffle ball. He's yeah. their ringer. He's playing the game. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Smart all right. guy. It's much fun as we had talking to you. We gotta <laughs> let you go. I'm you not leaving. Mess. The you sad the thing mess. is, is that your shows are sold out. Oh uh, no, we have a 4 p.m. Oh, 4 the 4 p.m. is There's actually... There's a 4 p.m. matinee show that we added so that people can come and laugh. Because you're so popular. Yeah. But please come, check come him out tonight and tomorrow. Please check him out. He's having fun. He's going to go home and go to bed. Thank you for getting Thanks up for us. Thanks for having some bacon with you. No, this is yours. No. <laughs>